Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are talking about the new wave just revealed. So once again, guys, I'm going back to the news section. And it's always a wave that I love talking about because you guys know since I've been collecting, uh, most of my channel is heavy based on DC products. I just loved DC growing up as a kid. Uh, you know, I was always into the animated shows, the video games as well. I played the horrible video games, the good video games. I just been a DC fan almost my whole life. And with these representation of these figures, Todd basically brought back my love for DC. Even though my, my love for DC never went away, um, but... Uh, he's basically re rejuvenated myself into getting figures to actually help out um, my fandom. And I just love that he's been doing these ways. They're bringing back memories from, from childhood. And I'm just, I'm just loving his wave. So recently, he actually, as of today, as of this recording, so I don't know when I'm going to upload this. It's because I'm going to edit this and then hurry up and try to put it out. Because I was supposed to have a video that was going to go out today. But I actually decided to put it out another day. And um, <laughs> upload this. Because this came out of left field. Once again, it's Todd. You don't really know his mindset. He just does whatever he wants. And nobody can tell him anything. Uh, except for for WB um, or whatever dc they could tell him uh yeah you can't do that figure and he won't be allowed to do it but not too many times they're gonna tell him no because you know come on it's todd uh how could you tell todd no you can't do that but anyways so he recently did a new reveal now this wave i don't know what to call this wave because it has three different characters um in the wave one is basically the same figure that we got earlier which is the red wing nightwood oh wait what red night nightwing <laughs> i don't know what i just said red nightwing so we have that um so basically this figure is basically with the same body if you guys never seen this it's basically this figure but it looks like this. Uh, and uh, I don't know why I put it down. I probably have the picture towards my right or my left. Don't really know. But um, yeah, so it looks just like that. And the only big difference is going to be, because of course it's going to have the same body as this. The only big difference is, is the actual head. So that is basically from the, basically the crow robin head. Uh, of course, the, the Robin head is different from the actual Crow Robins that we got. He actually also revealed it in the package. Because when you first get this, this was kind of like one of the similar poses. This is not the same pose. But it's one of the similar poses that it came to with the regular Nightwing in the package. And that was a two-pack with Red Hood. So this one is its own figure. And he showed it in package, so it's going to look badass. And, yeah, it just looks real good. So, then he revealed um, Green Lantern. But not just any Green Lantern. John Stewart's Green Lantern. Now, Todd, I'm just going to let you know right now. You let me know down in the comment section if you are watching my videos, man. You let me know, which I highly doubt you are. But you let me know because, oh my God, I cannot believe he's doing the Green Lanterns. And then John Stewart of all of them. Of course, he had the animated John Stewart that he did in the original first wave that he's done. But this is the this John Stewart I really like. Um, now, Mesco has done a Green Lantern John Stewart before. And I really love this Green Lantern. Because it has all the accessories. But this lantern face does not look as good as the McFarlane face that's going to come out with it. Um, because that one looks more like the cartoon versions of Green Lantern. Um, like every 
oh, every animation animation show that has Green Lantern, they normally have that John Stewart face, and this one has just a different face than what uh, the Mezco has uh, with John Stewart. But I really love this Mezco because the accessories that come with it, and then it's Green Lantern. Now, now, if you guys watched my previous video where I did a top ten wish list video. I talked about the Green Lanterns in there. Um, hopefully, pretty soon, we'll get more Green Lanterns. I know they aren't like the most popular characters that most people wouldn't know. But that's the beauty about this about this recent wave and new waves that are coming out soon. It's that popularity means absolutely nothing. It means uh, what he's doing is figures that look just badass as characters and if they look badass most likely they're gonna get a figure from him and that's what i'm saying huge chance we could get more green lanterns i would love i would love a cassandra figure uh uh but I, i'm not sure he's gonna do more green lanterns but i kind of wish he'll do red lanterns and the yellow lanterns so Sinestro probably because uh, like I said I mean you guys kind of see the theme that he's doing you get the heroes then you get the villains to fight them you know so you know you're getting your Batmans then you get your Jokers you're getting your Tyrant Batmans and then your your uh, darkest I mean grimmest night Batmans and so you know I mean there's more waves that he has done um that you just get the heroes and the villains um uh, so definitely we need some more lanterns um and trust me man we'll eat it up we'll eat that thing up and yep so this wave was really really interesting now of course he saved the big reveal for last which is bizarro <laughs> oh my god man I cannot believe he actually made a Bizarro figure. Now, remember in that video, I believe it was that one, or the one I did in the earlier, in, in earlier, um, during the year when I talked about the, the reveal. I believe that was a wish list video. I still gotta go back and go watch that because I don't, because I know for sure it was a top ten list in that video, um. And when I talked about what figures actually got made. Um, but I believe I said Bizarro. I might might have been an honorable mention. Or I probably didn't say I'm at all. I'm just imagining things. But come on. It's Bizarro, guys. Bizarro is basically a Superman clone that is kind of bad. Um, we have a Bizarro figure. But this one doesn't look anything as good as the one Todd just revealed. This one is super skinny. I mean, when it look I mean, when it comes down to the legs. Now the only reason why I wasn't going to buy this figure, I actually forgot which company made this. Um the only reason why I bought it because one, we you know I don't have a Bizarro figure and I needed somebody to go against Superman and two, it's Bizarro. But uh, I was kind of hoping for the future that we'll get a real good representation of Bizarro. So I could finally put him towards the back of my collection and put this new Bizarro with the newer collection and have him fighting with some of my best Superman figures. So the fact that he looks so crazy, you know, he got all the muzzles popping out. I love the little hairstyle on top, you know, his grimacing face. I love the the actual um, thing that he's like his hand is like, I don't know how to say it, but he's like holding like, he's like this, like, I'm bizarro, you know, and he actually showed him in the pit, uh, in the box as well. And then. Um, I mean, he looks real good in the box. Um, so I, I really, really love that as well. Um, but it looks like he only comes with two accessories, which is two, two different hands. So there is that. And then they actually showed like the, the box art to it. 
I believe if I didn't already put it, I believe uh, he probably showed off uh, the box art for the Green Lantern. So what I'm probably saying doesn't mean anything right now um because i probably already put it in the video but this one looks real real good i really love the box art to it and like i said man um bizarro guys like crazy so these are only three figures in a way and then when he put it out like when he tweeted it out it says pre-orders are in okay guys so i actually double checked and it is march or april so I'm kind of figuring we'll probably see it more towards uh, April, probably, because, you know, with the new waves just being revealed. Actually, no, I don't agree with that. I believe more towards March because the new wave is supposed to hit stores already. Some people already got some of the, some of those figures. And so that new wave is supposed to come in February. So there's actually, besides the, the Joker bot, the first figure for that coming out pretty soon there's not really nothing coming out so i believe pre-orders will go live for that soon so uh, before we see that excuse me that first dc um multiverse figure probably be more towards summertime before we start seeing some of these figures hit pretty soon or it's todd and we actually get some of these figures out pretty fast. And he just continues just going on and just doing all the craziness that he normally does. But, guys, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, and, yeah, can't not wait for this wave. Even though there's only three figures in this wave, uh, uh, it's going to have to do. And then that's not even including the Joker bot. So, cannot wait for any of these to come out. Um, just can't wait to get my hands with them. I'm going to mess around with all of these figures that I really want all of them. Um, even though, like I said, this John Stewart does it really, the Mesco John Stewart does it for me. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, I just want to just mess around with that head scalp and try to see if that one fits on this body or just leave it how it is and have him mess around. So, like I said, I really want some baddies to go with some of these lantern figures. And then um, the only one I could see people complaining about is the Joker. I mean, is the uh, the Nightwing Joker head because it's basically the same figure, just with a different head scalp. Uh, so most people probably won't get that because they're like, dude, I already got this figure. Why would I purchase another figure for the head? basically and i definitely understand that as well um uh, but if you're a sucker like me <laughs> you would buy it because i just eat all that stuff up i don't care if it has a different head also where is that unmasked fast fast point that we we're supposed to get I, I hopefully we'll get updates on that pretty soon um because we're supposed to get him so i wonder where that figure is um because that's another one that people's like, man, that should have been included into the original Flashpoint that we have. But once again, I'm a sucker, so I'm just going to eat it up. But let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this wave. Do you guys like this? Do you guys are going to skip out on it because you guys aren't really feeling this wave? Um, let me know uh, what other type of figures that you guys will still want. Um, and what figures are you going to pick up? What figures you're skipping? Don't really matter. Uh, let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think. That's it. That's all I got for you guys today. You guys have a wonderful, amazing day. And see you guys.